All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you are joining us, we are completing a series of geometry videos on the segment addition postulate. And in this problem, we're going to kind of bring it all together. So here's the picture we're given. Okay, You need to be pausing the video right now and getting out a pen or a pencil or whatever it is you used to write with, a feather, okay, a piece of charcoal, a stick in the sand. And you need to be drawing what you see me drawing. Okay, so I'm going to label these points S, K, and Y. And we are actually given some information about these distances. I just want to make this, it's driving me crazy. I want to make sure that that thing is drawn in there. Okay, so we're given some information about these distances. First, we're told that the distance from S to K is 13x minus 5. 13x minus 5. We are also told that the distance from k to y is equal to 2x plus 9. And finally, we are told the whole distance from s all the way to y is 36 minus x. Okay, so we're told that this whole distance right here, okay, from s all the way to y is 36 minus x, okay? And what we're asked to do is kind of solve it all, right? We're asked to find everything. First, we're asked to find x, okay? They want to know what x is. They also want to know what distance sk is. We'll find that for them. Now, this problem these people are demanding. They also want to know what distance ky is. Okay, so we'll find that. And then they finally want to know what distance SY is. And so we'll find that. So this is our work. we got to find all four of these. Let's start with the first one. Let's find X. Now remember, what does the segment addition postulate say? Back to the broken pencil. Okay, It sacrificed itself for your education. If you have a total pencil, you can find the total length of that pencil by finding the length of one piece and adding it to the length of the other piece. And they come together to form the total length. That's the segment addition postulate. Okay? So in this problem, here's one piece of the pencil, S to K. Here's another piece, K to Y. When you add them together, you get the distance from S to Y, or the full pencil. Okay? So I'm just going to label something, some of these points with some colors, just so we know kind of what we're looking at. So... Let's do purple for SK. Right, I really encourage the use of map colors so that you've got a visual. And what about KY? Let's use orange okay, from K to Y. We'll just color this in a little bit so we've got a little bit of a visual. All right, I like it when it's colorful. Okay, totally unnecessary, but it helps me. Maybe it'll help you. All right, so what we're going to do is make a claim. We're going to make a claim using a geometric sentence. Here's the claim we're going to make. The distance from S to K plus the distance from K to Y is equal from the equal to the total distance from S all the way to Y. So here's how that looks. S to K plus K to Y is equal to S to Y. Distance from S to K plus distance from K to Y is equal from the equal to the distance from S all the way to Y. That's what that says. Now we just substitute in the algebraic expressions we're given for all these things and solve for X. No biggie. The distance from S to K is defined by the algebraic expression 13X minus 5 plus, okay, now the distance from K to Y, which is given by 2X plus 9, plus 2x plus 9 equals, okay? So 13x minus 5, that's sk. 2x plus 9, that's ky, equals sy, which is 36 minus x. 36 minus x, okay? So here's what I'd like to do. I would really like to gather all my x terms on the left-hand side of the equation and move everything else to the right-hand side of the equation. So the first thing I'll do is go ahead and add x, because currently it's being subtracted on the right, so we want to do the opposite. So we'll add it 
to both sides. doesn't really matter where I put this plus x as long as I put it underneath either 13x or 2x. I'll go ahead and put it underneath 2x. So 2x plus x. And let's see what we get. Negative x plus x is just 0. 2x plus x, remember, people, remember, there's always a coefficient of 1 in front of an x that's by itself. So 2x plus 1x is 3x. All right, let's rewrite. Always rewrite after you do just one thing, and you'll never get lost. 13x minus 5 plus 3x plus 9 equals 36. Okay, so now we've got to start getting rid of these, the negative 5 and the 9. Okay, so if I want to get rid of this minus 5, I have to add 5. Do the opposite. We'll add 5 to both sides, and that'll be our step here. Okay, so negative 5 plus 5 is just 0. 36 plus 5 is 41. Now what? Let's rewrite. Now I've got 13x plus 3x plus 9 equals 41. Okay, now I need to get rid of the 9. It's added on the left, so I'll subtract it from both sides. Subtract it from both sides. Okay, on the left-hand side, plus 9 minus 9 is 0. And now let's do the subtraction. Okay, we can't subtract 9 from 1, so we'll borrow from the 4. That becomes a 3. The 1 becomes an 11. 11 minus 9 is 2. And 3 minus nothing is 3. So 41 minus 9 is 32. So let's rewrite. Now I have 13x plus 3x equals 32. Well, now what do I do? Well, I've got common terms over here. I've got x and x. They just have different coefficients, so that's okay. When I have two variables that are the same, in the same degree, no squares, no cubes, nothing like that, just x. I can just add the coefficients, 13 plus 3. What is that? That's 16. Okay, so we put 16x equals 32. All right? So now I want to get rid of the 16. Well, currently, the 16 is being multiplied by x. So I just have to divide both sides of the equation by 16. Okay? Pretty simple on the left, 16 divided by 16 is 1, so we just cancel it out and write x equals. Yay, we've gotten to x by itself. Now, what is 32 divided by 16? You can do this in your heads. It is just 2. Okay, 2 times 16, 32. All right, so we have, we believe we have found x. So let's go plug that in. We think x is 2. Right, so if x is 2, we can find all these other values. No problem. We just have to plug in, for every x, we have to plug in a 2 and solve out these little tiny equations here, okay, or expressions. So let's use red, okay? So everywhere I see an x, I'm just going to plug in a 2. So this will become a 2, this will become a 2. These parentheses mean I'm just trying to make sure that we don't forget what we're doing with the 2. So now I have to multiply 13 times 2 because before I was multiplying 13 times x. Well, now x is 2, so I multiply 13 times 2. What is 13 times 2? 13 times 2 is 26. Now subtract 5. 13 times 2 is 26. 26 minus 5 is 21. So here's a conjecture. S to k is 21. That's what we think. Let's make sure we're right. Now let's do k to y. So, before it was 2 times x plus 9. Well, now it's 2 times 2 plus 9. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 9 is 13. So, I think k to y is 13. Huh? These are just propositional statements. I'm not sure yet. I'm about to be sure. Okay? So, we're now going to subtract 2 from 36. Because x was being subtracted from 36 before. Now, x is 2. Therefore, 36 minus 2 is the whole distance s to y. 36 minus 2 is 34. Now, here's how we check this. SK plus KY should equal 34. Does it? Let's see. We have a stack add here. Here's SK. Here's KY. Let's add. 
1 plus 3 is 4. 2 plus 1 is 3. What a beautiful verification that we are correct about everything. I love it. All right. So this was the whole problem. It took 10 minutes to solve. All right. Let's see if you can do it faster. Now, if this video is useful to you, if you learned something in this video, if you profited in any way from this video, please give the video a thumbs up. All right? It sends a signal. Now, if you have a question, please put that in the comment section. I promise I'll answer it. And if you have not already, I would really appreciate it if you would go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you are always alerted to new videos on this channel. Thank you.